different from the team knocked out of the cup in midweek by Ayr, Antonio Calderon and Gary McCutcheon demoted to the bench. The replacements are Jesus San Juan and a 19-year-old Paul de Giacomo returning up front as strike partner for Craig Dargo. We got the clincher at East End Park a fortnight ago in the 2-0 defeat of Dunfermline. For 23-year-old Dargo, the best is surely still to come. Rangers start the match and some fans will be thinking back the best part of 12 months to when Kilmarnock came here early last season and demolished Rangers by three goals to nil. And that was to do serious damage to the Rangers campaign. A Rangers side who are already seven points adrift of Celtic in the title chase and can't afford to drop any further back. They've lost just twice this season, Rangers, but both defeats have been significant. Once to Celtic to widen the margin at the top of the SPL and once, of course, to Fenerbahce, which meant their Champions League hopes were gone. Michael Ball's clearance. Arvalanza there. And Innes. Good combination between Newman and Ball. And Michael Ball again. Under pressure. Possession given away. Mahout has it. And now Innes. Again, the distribution from Kilmarnock from the back could be better. Slip start from Rangers in central midfield. Rickson with Kinesia up ahead of him. Avalanza scores again. Nine minutes gone. His first SPL goal. And that's three and two. What a start for Shorter Avalanza. Rickson and Kinesia involved in the setup. And Kilmarnock will be disappointed that they were caught out by this, but it was certainly sharp stuff from eight yards out from Arvaladze. He did, didn't cost much more than two million pounds, and he might turn out to be a real bargain for the Cats. for ball which he was up to Newman's under pressure and he's lost it to Giacomo chance for Kilmarnock what a disappointment for Kilmarnock it was Arthur Newman's mistake which set them up and really Giacomo was looking to do a whole lot better here Dargo was in the middle he was marked but failing to hit the target, the teenager will feel he should have done so much better. Thrusting through the midfield, Barry Ferguson. Radio Kinesia, having a look around about, see what's on. And just do it all himself. Finally looks for support in Avalazze. Worst effort either. Gordon Marshall fairly solidly behind this. You get the feeling that Shutter Arvaladza has got an awful lot of goals in him for Rangers. Good leap from Ball. Put on by the Georgian Arvaladza. Moore cushions it for Rickson. Kinesia, Rina, Flo. Claudio Kinesia again hurdling the challenge for Minnes. Lost his footing at the end of a good run. One thing a whole lot more from his team at this stage, the Philharmonic manager.
Ferguson's pass will work well for Fernando Rickson. It was an inviting little ball into the box. And there was real quality about the pass there from Ferguson. Shuffling away from Mahout. Rickson's cross. Avalanza. One bouncing into the hands of Gordon Marshall. The Monarch will want to keep a close check on the former Ajax striker. Newman to Ferguson. Back from Reina. Forward goes Moore. Pass blocked by Darko. The Giacomo. Dargo after it. And a good take by Stefan Kloss. Well judged. Just inside his penalty area. Safe hands to pouch the pass from Paul de Giacomo. Finds flow on sides. Had a flash at it, but it went straight at Gordon Marshall. Disappointingly for Flo. Good service from Reyna. Good vision. Here come Rangers again with Newman. Flo. Disappointed again. He was in a great position there to make it 2 0. Flo with. 10 goals in 12 games already this season and this might well have been number 11 Innes to Mahoud shut down quickly by Ferguson Rangers working hard at winning back the ball it's now at the feet of Kanisha chased by Mitchell and by Baker and by Dindola support from Reyna now it's Newman Ball on the overlap. Michael Ball's cross. Kanisha had a great chance to score. Shaking his head. Found well by Ball. The marking was desperately poor from Kilmarnock. Clarman to Canero. First time ball in. Dargo got his head to it. Hesitation between Moore and Rickson. Avalanza, here's a chance. Kanisha, surely this time. It's number two. And Claudio Kanisha finally scores his fourth goal for Rangers. His first three game in Rangers' first three games of the season. He's only started two of the last ten games. Now he's back, and on the mark, a cultured finish this. Totally composed as Gordon Marshall came off his line, trundling into the back of the net. And Rangers get really what they deserve from this first half, showing a second goal, five minutes from the half-time whistle. It's 2-0. well on top this is well under control for them Flo, Reyna, Ferguson and over the top for Arthur Newman good run on side great effort too he scored on Tuesday night against Airdrie his first goal of the season and he obviously liked the feeling he tried to get his second of the campaign, a blistering left foot volley, that, beaten away by Marshall. Back from Mahoud, half-time. Polished first 45 minutes from Rangers. And having got himself a game, finally, for Rangers, shot at Avaladza. Can't stop scoring. Two against Airdrie. 
on Tuesday night in the CIS Cup. And he had the opener here after just nine minutes. It's all pretty easy from Rangers' point of view. Ritson and Kanesia involved simple ball into the box and turned into the corner by the Georgian striker. Not the best of defending from Kilmarnock, but Arbaladza kissing the ball in delight. Rangers 1-0 ahead. The only mystery as the first half went on was Rangers couldn't get a second. They finally did five minutes from the interval, and it was Claudio Kanesia with that very cool finish. And it's 2-0 Rangers at halftime. Kilmarnock must have hoped they would get it to a half-time whistle. Just one down. But uh, that Kinesia goal makes a great deal of difference and makes it a long way back for them against a Rangers side who've threatened almost constantly. And Ferguson, a dominant figure in central midfield for Rangers. And another excellent pass. Except Kinesia. Arena for Rickson, always available. It's a clever ball in, but offside. He straight just beyond the line, Claudio Kinesia. Up went the flag. Barry Ferguson. Shot to Arbaladza on his right foot. Set himself up very well. And he's disappointed that, that went straight at Gordon Marshall. This was uh, another opportunity set up by Ferguson's passing. He had power, but not quite there the direction. around their own penalty box and an attack or two. But that doesn't help a little lapse in concentration by McLaren allows the ball to drift over the touchline great match from Arvalanta it releases Newman up ahead of him Flo and Kanisha and Arvalanta again now Flo strong enough skillful enough good enough 3-0 seven and into the second half Rangers move further clear superb build up here so much to admire in what happened ahead of Flo's involvement and then it was down to strength to hold off Innes and that ability to score goals his 11th of the season often criticised Tori Andre Flo but his goals for games ratio has to be admired and this was top class finishing 3-0 Rangers and the match now is surely out of Kilmarnock's reach corner kick and it's Michael Ball to plant another left foot in the swinger in there took away by Sam wonderful hit from Arthur Newman which produces a spectacular save by Gordon Marshall. Not much wrong with this left foot volley. He gave that everything. And credit to Marshall for pulling off the save. Calderon. The other substitute, Boyd. Back for Calderon. Looking for a free kick right at the edge of the penalty box. Judy McDonald had a look and said no. Certainly crashed to the ground, did Calderon. He changed direction very quickly. Arena stretched out his leg, and that looked as if it was slightly inside the box and could well have been a penalty kick. challenge on Chris Boyd Kilmarnock trying to lift their spirits by pulling a goal back Calderon is over the free kick and McLaren as well 
Boyd Dargo in the box. Not required. Antonio Calderon, who thought he should have had a penalty a minute ago, pulls one back for Kilmarnock. Lovely free kick over the top of the wall and flicking the inside of the post on its way in. Stefan Kloss couldn't get there, despite flinging himself across. Superb technique here from Calderon. Now 3-1. 21 minutes gone in the second half. That's terrific play from Michael Ball. Potentially a difficult situation. Handled it very well. And that's not a bad pass up there. Delivered to the outside of the left foot for Arthur Newman. Back from Canelo to Marshall. And then out of play. The team's been outplayed and Bobby Williamson knows that well. But if they could get another goal, then the Rangers' lead becomes fragile. back there, presumably advantage played, and there could be some advantage, because it's off Alanta, he's missed a glaring opportunity to make it four for Rangers, great credit here to Ronald De Boer after holding off the challenge of Baker, set up Arvaladza, and Gordon Marshall flung himself in front of the former Ajax striker, for Kilmarnock and Chris Innes long ball aimed at Gary McCutcheon Craig Moore slipped and McCutcheon fires it wide that was a chance immediately for Kilmarnock to score after Arvaladza had missed at the other end he lost his footing did Moore and Bert Conteman made an important challenge here against young McCutcheon as he threatened to pull a goal back Got that away despite the challenge of Rixa. Boyd chases. Back from Anton to Kloss. Diggy McDonald has a look at the watch and blows the final whistle. And Rangers win very comfortably against Kilmarnock. Top show by the home team. 2 0 up at half time thanks to Shota Arvaladze and Claudio Kinesia, lot number two, five minutes from half time. And early in the second half, Tori Andre Flo, who was substituted, made it 3 0. And Rangers from that point onwards were on easy street. Kilmarnock did pull a goal back through Antonio Calderon. Uh, lovely free kick it was too, but it had no effect on the final outcome. There was no way back for Kilmarnock. They were outclassed, outplayed, and Rangers are the winners here by three goals to one.